Welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, Sammy Hitsky, and Barney's with me again today. Uh, this is the beautiful Barrington Coast, and look at the backdrop. It is a magnificent part of the world. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do something a little bit different today. We're chasing a cobia, a kingfish, or a tuna. So there's three... Bit of, every, bit of everything. Bit of, bit, of, bit of everything. We've been catching some really good cobia in this, in this sort of neck of the woods at the moment. Uh, we've, we've already caught a heap of live bait, so we've got live yellowtail. I think you got one pike, didn't you? Yeah, one pike, yep. But the main, main thing is we've got some really good slimy mackerel. So we're going to drive around, use the sounder, uh, electric motor as well. If we can mark them down on the sand, quite often they sit a bit low, don't they, yeah, Sammy? And yeah. then they'll come up during the day, so we'll have a couple of baits out on the surface and then we'll drop one down if we mark them on the sander so be ready to go uh, one of these lads will be fighting over that bait i'm sure when we mark something good on the sander but this great area we can look at moving down the coast and chasing some kingfish later on too so lots of options let's do it let's do it it's right? cool it is definitely very cool. brisk <laughs> We're just collecting some bait at the moment. We're really looking for slimy mackerel. It's a little bit chilly at the moment. Uh, we've got one pike, I think, and we're catching a lot of small yellow tails. It's about driving around and uh, and finding where those slimy mackerel are. And you can see on the sounder here now, they're sitting up a fair bit higher. I'll just change the picture there for a minute and just go to the main sonar picture. And this is the, the slimies here up in amongst the the yellow tail. So if you drop your bait jig down deep, you're going to generally catch those yellow tails. So quite often if you cast it out, put it into gear and just let it sort of, sort of, I guess, sink down through the school and bring it back up. If you go straight to the bottom, you're going to get stuck into all those yellow tail down deep, but the slimies are quite active and you can see them buzzing around here now. It's just about thinking about where that bait is and what you're trying to achieve. And if you want a yellow tail, no problems, go straight to the bottom, but just keep that bait jig up a little bit higher. Uh, when you're chasing those slimy mackerel. There you go, there's one we and there's prepared. One, here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> right this side, yeah. On. Where are he's on? Oh, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> just put that uh, live slimy out, and, and it just, um, while I was feeding it out, it just suddenly started disappearing at a rapid rate of knots. So 60 pound, fluorocarbon leader, some 50 pound mono. Oh, actually a top shot. Just going that way there, Sammy. And uh, it was eaten instantly. I think it's, it feels a bit tunery, really. Feels, oh yeah, still yeah, a bit Yeah, still a bit of a tuna thing, so I'd say it's a tuna of some description, but that bait certainly didn't last very long. So sort I of know when it's a tuna, when they do those big circles, and it's a big Mac tuna. Righto, Sammy, come and grab that. You got him up? Mate, yeah, that's a lump of a Mac tuna. See if you can grab that tail. Round again, one more time. Got him. Mm. Got him, got him, got tuna him. Tuna shake. Tuna shake. Tuna shake. That's a horse. That is a horse. When it comes to Mac tunas, I'm going to tell you, that is an absolute cracker. We might just cut that, even that circle hook, somehow it needs to swallow that one. There you go, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so keep him under control. <laughs> he's a bit, he's a, he is a lump of a Mac tuna. Fold those pectorals down, Barney. Quickly, show everybody what a bullet they turn into. Amazing fish. There'll be big long tail tuna here as well. That's just one of the species that are feeding on all those bait fish. Yeah. Alright, let's get him back in, eh? 
<laughs> Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. circle hooks on here for a minute. With the bait size we've got, I've got nine O's there, but I think a seven O's about the right size. They're not big slimy mackerels, so it's important to try and match your hook size as much to the target fish you've got, but you'll catch a marlin on that seven O's circle hook every day of the week, and certainly big cobia or kingfish, they're su super strong, and the head of the, the bait's only quite small. You put too big a hook, they won't swim as well either, so I'm gonna just tie an improved blood knot on there and then I'll put what's called a little bridle on there so that we can swim these baits um, really like quite well. We just pin them through the nose with the bridle and, uh, and they swim a lot more freely. A little bit of sliver on that 60 pound fluorocarbon, then always test your knots. Circles are good because you can lock them in your thumb there, take a little bit of a wrap and just make sure you're really happy with how that knot's pulled up. Barney, I did pinch your rod, mate. Thanks, mate. Wrong time to go get a drink. Doesn't, it's not doing anything too crazy just yet. Uh. Maybe another tuna, or it might not have woken up yet. Jess, are you able to spin us round, right hand down? Or left hand down, sorry? Sorry, mate. Yep, left hand down. You happy to play there, mate? Yeah, we're all good. You all right? Yeah, yep. keep going round. Yep. What have we got? That's a cobe. Hey. I think it is a cobe. Oh, this is a cobe or a big snapper? No, it's a cobe. Oh, is it? It's not, not 30 kilos, but it's a... Uh, <laughs> no, it is a cobe. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. This is one of the target fish. <laughs> Sensational. And I've poached it straight out of Barney's hand. Oh, head. good stuff. Oh, so it is my rod. It is your rod. Well, you picked the wrong time to go get a drink. You can hand it over to me right at the end, I mate. will, I will. As <laughs> it comes in the boat, I'll make sure I pass oh, nice. there. There oh, it is. He's up on the surface. It's a nice cool little cobia. Net there, mate? Yeah, mate. Ready. Ready oh. for you. Yeah, come on. Yes! <laughs> hey, look at that. That's the, that's the right species. Well, you want to get them on the first go, mate, because they normally play up a bit at the boat. Lift yeah. him up. Let's have a look oh, at him. This is going to sting. No, it's no, not. No. Desired, well, what did we say so far? We said we said tuna, and we tuna said, uh, and maybe a yellowtail kingfish, yep. and there's a cobia. There it is. There I love it, it when a plan comes together. So that's bait number two. Beautiful looking cobia, and I know, actually, my mate's young fella, it's actually our cameraman, caught one not far from here the other day. I think we can probably flick a quick still picture up on screen because we can do that. And it, th it was a monster. Th it was a monster. Yeah. So this is one of the little so puppies. Just short of this one. Just short. But <laughs> I've got to tell you, uh, mate, if I'm sitting at home in Landry and watching this, I'd be really stoked to catch that. It's uh, Circle Hook's done its job. Perfectly hooked Pinned up in, in there. It's that live slimy. In the, in the mouth there. As far as handling goes, Sammy got to watch out for those. Slap those. They're, they're pretty ordinary, those spikes there. Pretty good otherwise. You can give them the grip. They're, um, you know, they're called a black kingfish or a cobia, but they're, they're quite different um, to a, a yellowtail kingfish, actually related to remoras that you see stuck to um, underneath big sharks and rays yeah. and things. And these fellas hang around with stingrays and all those. Yeah, all the big stuff. They actually look like a shark and they come up. A lot of people, I think, have they go, oh, just busted it's, them off. It's, and a get, oh, it's a shark. Oh, oh no, it's turned into a cobia. I've someone say that to me before. Yeah, well, I might have said that <laughs> once or twice. But that, uh, mate, that's great. Cool looking. You, know, you can see, well, they've got that lateral line that's sort of hidden there, but they've got that fantastic contrast between the belly colour and that brown back. Well done, mate. No worries. Good job. That's Didn't a... have to do much. Just pick up Barney's rod when it goes off. <laughs> that's what, Easy. That's what mates do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, fella. Tell your dad we're here. 
we just parked up here for a moment. Got a bit of a burly trail going. It's been going for about 20 minutes. We're on that tide change, trying to find another cobia. If we don't, we'll, we're, uh, we're here for a couple of days. We're going to get out again tomorrow and have a look around. Afternoon's not done with yet, but I've got to tell you, there's a couple of massive, big, really big grey nurse sharks swimming around, and uh, fantastic to see those in great numbers. This area is pretty famous for it, from here down towards Seal Rocks. and. Yeah, I know even this spot here, the divers come and have a bit of a look at them. So yeah, they're cruising around, having a, having a great old time, swimming around all the, the uh, slimy mackerel and bait fish that we've got, yellowtail that are all around the boat here at the moment, uh, even checking the electric motor out. So yeah, I don't think we'll be going in for a swim at the moment, although they are a pretty safe shark. There's been some big, um, uh, some big whaler sharks about here at the moment and a few bull sharks, and, and that sort of comes with the territory this time of the year when you get your pelagic species like cobia and mac tuna and bluefin tuna uh, working their way down the coastline. The sharks do tend to follow them a little bit. We've padded up the coast here a little bit at the moment. We've got some wire rigs out, so some uh, 40 or 38 pound rigs and also some 58 pound single strand rigs. Actually, there's a couple hanging off the roof here. Good place for it. And the big girl here, we'll put it up on the carpeted roof. So some 6.0 chemically sharpened hooks. Um, so we've got two of those. Um, one goes in the nose of the bait, one at the back of the bait, and then a short length to that small black swivel. So looking for mackerel in this part of the world at the moment, spotted mackerel, Spanish mackerel, and there's the odd cobia floating around. The water does look good here, and we've, looking at the sand, we've gone up to 24 degrees, which is good. So tide change about an hour away once again. Worked at that tide change. We've ticked our cobia off, played with some tuna, and it'd be really nice to catch a mackerel as well. Breeze has picked up, finally got a bit of a sea breeze. And that might be the, the factor that gets them biting, hopefully, anyway. That's what we want to see. That looks more like a Spanish mackerel. Could be a big mackerel going through there. So I've got GPS on one side. I'll split my conventional sounder picture and then down scan happening here. So that's pretty well all we really need. Really working off the GPS. Anytime I mark a fish or get a bite. So I'll just go mark, mark there. Now, if I don't get quiet on it, what I can do is just hit that there, flag, flag, and I can mark right where that fish was. So I've got a couple of marks there, but looking really good. That that looks like that could well be a mackerel right there. Got him? Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> Just <laughs> dropped him back a bit then. Fed it back to him. Fed it back. Oh, where are you? I'll move this one for you, Barnes. It's all happening. It's all happening. It is happening. Feel like a better fish? It does. That'd be tuna, boys. Not a long tail. Just waiting for ID. I don't believe so. <laughs> Got him. It's another torpedo. Unfortunately, not the right kind. Get the hooks out of this guy and uh, shoot him straight back. Beautiful. Look at those colours. Pretty fish, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you going, mate? Oh, wow, that's a bite. Bite? I'm, I'm guessing you don't want the rest of your mander in there, no, guessing? No, I'm trying to finish the rest of that. Is that not the most common time to get a bite, though? It Bring is. some food out. Game on. Definitely. Wow. Fish took a fair bit of line. And uh, one of the reasons why you go chasing pelagics in the first place is that sound. And these reels are awesome. They've got four separate drag systems there. So I'm on the fighting drag there now. But we can um, click it back into that, into whatever we want. Quite a light drag, which you don't really want with these bigger pelagics because they can. They can swim that fast, they can overspeed the reel, but otherwise, probably the second click down, the tension's about right. And uh, yeah, that bite, that's what it's all about. Hear that reel screaming off. I was actually having some to eat. I had a mouthful of mandarin. I couldn't even talk. I picked the rod up there for a sec. But uh, anyway, we'll keep working and see what we've got here. Oh, I can see him up on the surface there. You can? Oh, is it? Is it a, is it a tail is it rapid? Oh, it's a big, a big oh. mackie, big mackie in the tail. So we've just got a bit of colour there. Looks like a big Spanish mackerel, oh, but it's hooked oh, in the tail. It is. So, uh, Ready? We're going to get a shot here. This is going to be. This is going to be fun. Oh yeah, he's oh, in. The, it's a good Spanish he's mate. In the, he's in the mouth. He's in the mouth. It's just wrapped around the tail. We're all good. We're all good. Mate, it's a big Spanish. Oh no. Oh no, no. no. <laughs> Not to have landed. I was going to do it. I said no. You're let's trying to do it early. <laughs> this is stressful times. Oh, this is on our target species list for the Barrington Coast. Yeah, we got him. You got, got him. him. <laughs> yes. You're going to have to pull me Come back on, in. Big dog. Come on, big dog. Oh, yes. Woo. 
Yeah. You said 15 kilos. That is not a 15 kilo no, spanish. No, no. That is that is right up there. Let's 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 do some of that. <laughs> Yes! yes. Well, Get that was worth the effort. That was worth the effort. What a cracker. Look how deep that fish is. That, that is, is a solid here. I'll grab the tail. You hold you, the business end. Don't put me down. Well, this I don't want it. It's sharp. I reckon that's got to be 20 kilos. Oh, it's oh, very, oh, very oh, close. Oh, 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 put two on it. the fish. Hey, 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 hey. Big up here. Down low, big fella. What's oh, this? So, <laughs> you got the game. <laughs> Show everybody those sharp oh, teeth, mate. Wow, look at those peckers. That's why we use wire. Keep your hands completely away. Exactly. You're getting a fingernail trim, Barnes. <laughs> oh, look, well that's done, that's mate. just awesome. They go like such a rocket ship. Uh, they're an amazing fish, big spanos, and and uh, I've got to tell you, this is a solid one here. We're pretty much in this Barrington Coast area. Uh, Foster's just over there. Crowdy heads, Crowdy heads, just there. We're on that southern area. I know you Queenslanders play with these fellas a fair bit, yeah. but in New South Wales, I've got to tell you, a very special fish in this part of the world, and that is a cracker. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. afternoon on the water. I don't think you'll get a better afternoon actually. The wind's died right off so I thought I'd do a bit of fast fishing. I'm gonna, uh, I went and got some live bait just quickly there. I've got them in the tank. I'm gonna see if I can't catch myself a tail or maybe even a snapper. I've got my old, uh, the old fashioned bobby corking technique. I'll just do a little bit of a turn there. So pretty simple stuff. A couple of 5-0 chemically sharpened hooks, bobby corks there, some 50 pound leader. And then I've got a double uni knot in here, which will let that get down about four metres. So I'm just going to fish the back edge of this wash and see what I can find. Ah, oh, got him, I think. Something there. Oh, ho, ho. woo! Yes, nice big tailor. That's a that's a beauty. Oh. Didn't take too long to get a bite. Oh, there he goes. Zipping around. Come on, bud. Up you come. <laughs> what a way to spend an afternoon. It is so calm on the ocean. I'll tell you, that is... Oh, that's a... That's a big greenback tailor right there. I thought it would have been a chance for tailor. And i tell you, it, oh, give him a bit of a comfort there. Just pop that hook out. Look at that. Oh, it's going in there. Pull that out of there. Get a bit of a grip on him. Check that out. <laughs> oh, that's a solid fish, that one. All right, I'll get this fella back in the water so if I can't find a slightly bigger one or maybe something different, but I've got to tell you, it's a terrific way to start the afternoon. Oh. Oh, oh, what I've got here, oh, I think it might be a, another tailor, oh, splashing around on the surface. They fight hard, they're great fun on surface lures to catch, and this is a slightly different technique, I've got to tell you, this one here, if I grab my net, it's, it's a pretty big one, he's just spat my yellow tail out, so he's had enough of that, spat the bait out. See if we can't get him in. Oh, it's a quality fish, this one. Whoa. See if I can't get him under the, or into the net, I should say. Yes! Oh, now that's a big tailor, that one. Wow. I'll show you what that tail looks like. I'm going to tell you, that is an absolute beast. I just backed out of the way there. Just got to be careful with these swells. And to see, well, I'm safe here. Uh, I ducked in to get my cast into the zone. 
And I'd say that was well worth the cast. That's an absolute horse of a tail, a big greenback. He'd be up around that sort of eight pound mark, seven or eight pound, really big, solid, fat fish. And uh, he's absolutely climbed on that. Off you go, big fella, Way you go. I'm just going to duck back in and have another cast. Just remember when you're on the water, um, just show a little bit of courtesy to all the other waterway users. I know these things are super fast, but just give everybody their distance and slow down when you get closer to other people who are fishing. Come on, bud. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes. One of the great things about catching tailor is they jump. I reckon when I was a kid, it was the first fish I ever saw jump. And after that, I always wanted to see a barramundi jump or a marlin or whatever. But tailor and salmon, they're certainly oh, well renowned for jumping out of the water. Got to tell you, that's an absolute crack of that tailor. Bit of fast fishing this afternoon and it certainly paid off. You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest on my own today. I'll catch you next time. Bye now. Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.